Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm on a Yamaha 242X. I'm about to detail this bad boy. And before we get rolling, I want to show you what kind of shape the interior is in. The mats are really bad, dirty. The floor is just generally dirty. Um, I just took the cover off and I put it in that compartment with the poles to hold it up because we are going to be polishing and coating this boat today and super seven needs to breathe so that coating isn't going to go uh i'm sorry so that cover isn't going to go back on today but you can see all the dirt it's generally dirty not too bad you could tell he's been using it i have detailed this boat before but uh yeah just generally dirty nothing fancy A nice magna grill in there yeah so we'll get it all cleaned up all the jams and stuff you see how nasty that stuff is yeah it's just generally dirty nothing fancy uh, last time I noticed all this overspray that's on his cushions he said it had been painted or so I don't know anyway so that was there last time but it is definitely overspray, and I don't think I can get it off without damaging the uh, vinyl, unfortunately. I'm going to try. We'll work on it a little bit, but we'll see. Anyway, so just generally dirty. And so, you can see all this is generally dirty as well. So, we'll get down and we'll walk around the outside. Last time I detailed this boat, I put on my five-year coating, but um, we didn't do any polishing. So we coated it, but no polishing. This time, we're going to polish it and coat it with Super 7, the seven-year deal. Um, still nice and glossy. But we're gonna get some more gloss out of this thing. I remember there were some nasty hazy patches on this side before that I don't necessarily see right now, but uh, as I roll, I might see them. I wanna get all these scuffs off. Um, yeah, I don't see anything out of place. It just looks generally dirty. Got some nasty issues here some more around here and that kind of thing more scuffs I want to get out oh, jet drives look good I'm gonna polish under there all right that's it time to get on this bad boy I'll bring you back when we've uh, gotten some done I'm gonna get Tony on the interior cleaning that thing while I get to polish in the outside so here we go all right so i've polished this side this will be the uh, starboard side the right side uh, if you guys don't know how or which way is port which size is starboard so port is a four letter word and so is left so port side is the left side starboard is the right side bow stern just a little bit of boat talk um so this side's all polished. I got Tony still in the interior. Uh, the windows haven't been done yet, but she's all wiping down the wakeboard tower, the speakers, the wake wakeboard racks, all that stuff. She's wiping all that down, getting the interior all cleaned up. So I've polished this whole side, the hull and the top deck. I'm about to start on this side. I am using my brand new DeWalt. This thing is a bad, bad man. Lots of power. It's cordless, which I love. Uh, this is an off-brand six amp hour, 20 volt battery. Just decided to test out some off-brand. Normally I would not have purchased that. Uh, DeWalt is definitely going to be your better quality, uh, but we're testing this. Seems to be okay. Um, I have not, you can see 
It got one green light left out of three and it was fully charged when I started, but I got that whole side done and I'm still using that battery. So I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, I definitely haven't been working real hard or having to cut really heavily. Um, it's not an oxidized boat. We're just trying to get some shine, which if you'll notice this side definitely lacks some luster that this side over here definitely has now. So it's all glossy and nice. Uh, but this tool is amazing. I'm not sure why it took me so long to go ahead and commit to purchase it. Um, this is the uh, dual action polisher. I also purchased the rotary. I have that. I obviously don't need to use it today. Uh, so I'll show you that in a later video. But this comes with this five inch backing plate for my uh, five and a half inch pads at detailjuice.com. Uh, I only use and carry buff and shine pads. So uh, they are the best in my opinion. So that thing's awesome. Um, in order to have everything I need, there's my van. Um, I also, I'm gonna show you this nasty rig of a work van, but uh, so I also have <clears throat> the four bank rapid battery charger by DeWalt. Uh, and this is another one of those off brand six amp hours. And this one, this one, and this one are DeWalt five amp hour. I purchased, I believe, two of these six amp hour off brands just to test them because it came in a two pack and it was 60 bucks. Two of these uh, with a bag and a regular charger goes for 160 bucks. So at 60 bucks for just two batteries, six amp hour as opposed to five is a great deal. So if they last, that's awesome. If they don't, then I've got, I think, 13 five amp hour DeWalt batteries that I purchased. So I'll keep this in my van. The only problem is um, I brought the charger, well, for multiple reasons, but I have an inverter in the van. It's just not strong enough to run that. So um, I am gonna go ahead and update my electrical system in the van so that I can charge these on the fly. Um, I just feel like I need to be doing that, need to be able to do it. So that's where we're at. But that DeWalt cordless dual action polisher is awesome. Again, I don't know how the, the rotary works, but uh, just imagine being inside a boat and having to polish the interior and the top deck and the cord being over top and it's rubbing as you move. So it's, it's basically creating more work and you're chasing your tail with that cord over it. So this is ideal and amazing i'm really excited about that all right so i'm gonna get this side done and we'll be back uh, when i've got more to talk about all right so we're hustling up before it starts to rain looks horrible it was supposed to rain today tony's got the interior almost done and uh i'm using another new fantastically amazing tool it's an ac delco it is a three inch polisher it's pretty awesome uh, I have polished all of this area with it so far. I purchased it actually to do transoms and stuff but uh, on boats, but the cool part about that thing is it can be used really, really well to do headlights and basically any small spot. So it's a rotary polisher, which is forced rotation. So you will get holograms and swirls and that kind of thing, but you have to finish it out uh, with a dual action polisher if you don't finesse it enough uh, to get those out. Uh, this is a high traffic area, so there's lots of scratches and deep scuffs and that kind of thing. And if you look, if you look right there, you may or may not be able to see it, but the gel coat is real thin right there. It's odd to me, but it is what it is. Um, so I gotta finish polishing this area. And I'm going to do that with this bad boy right here. So, get some polish all up on it. Just like so. And the cool part is, you just pull the trigger a little bit, or a lot of bit, depending on the level of polishing and correction you're looking to do. I'm just looking to get some gloss back and remove all these nasty scuffs. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Go over it a couple of times.
and then grab your towel wipe off the residue and you are moving right along I get back to work and then uh, when Tony's done with that glass I think she's gonna be jumping out touch up the odds and ends finish up this little seating area and we're done so I'll bring you back when we're uh, all done all right we're all done I'm gonna jump in here and just give a walk around all right so when we got in here it was missing that mat I don't know where it went but uh, Tony cleaned the floor really well um, I am gonna wipe my way out of here but um, so you all saw at the beginning of the video I put the cover and the poles in there because of the coating we're gonna leave it off so everything can breathe and cure and uh, that's where we're at just wiping a little bit of here and there off So, all clean. Tony did a great job in here. Got that jam done. And this thing looks awesome. So, looking good. A little streaky, but... Yeah, that's all right. We got it. Nothing we can't handle. All right, get this cockpit looking sweet. But that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. But interior looks awesome. Unfortunately, we can't get this paint off. I don't know what's going on. Can't get that off. And we've got this cracking situation going on. Let's see. Got all in the anchor locker all cleaned up. Hey guys, um, I didn't shoot the outro for this uh, 242X uh, Yamaha boat video that you've just watched. So I figured I would just insert the outro here. Um, unfortunately, I also didn't shoot any video of what the outside looked like. It wasn't in bad shape. Um, I have pictures and that kind of thing, but I'm not gonna insert those. The outside was in decent shape. It had some, some haziness and some scratches here and there. Definitely had some gashes on the vinyl decals and that kind of thing. Uh, like I said, I have plenty of pictures of the after of the outside, um, but I didn't shoot any video of it because we were kind of pressed for time. I jumped out of the boat after I was uh, done doing what you saw me doing on the interior. Um, and then basically got to talking to a couple of guys at the yard there at Cycle Springs Power Sports in Clearwater where I detailed this boat. Um, I got to talking to them and then kind of just threw my stuff in the van and we got out of there. So uh, anyway, this is the second time I've done this boat. We did the uh, seven year Super 7 uh, coating to it with the triple trifecta technology. And um, it looked awesome. It's in great shape. But anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch these videos and to listen to me babble. I truly appreciate it. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And check out DetailJuice.com for all of your product needs. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful day.